previously on Just Add Magic. It's been here since 2004. Someone named Laura H. brought it in. This isn't what I was expecting. It's just a bunch of junk. I've been building stuff a lot longer than I've been acting, and I'm really good at it. I got Miss Silvers an interview for the music teacher position at Fox Canyon. You got it? I did. What is that? I don't think she can retain memories of magic. Magic, okay. I'm not sure what kind of game you kids are playing, but I'm busy. Someone hit Noel with a forget magic spell. I thought she was the one who attacked RJ and Mama P. If Noel didn't do it, then we're out of suspects. So, former protectors are being cursed to forget magic, and you want me to do what, exactly? If we get cursed, you'll have to help us remember. Can't you cook a spell for that? That's kind of our plan. And you're our plan B. Thanks. I think. This is where we hide the book now. Don't you think this is a little much? I mean, do you really think someone wants to curse you? You won't believe the email I just got. Remember Orin from the play? The rude head of crew? Apparently he's also rude at home. His mom grounded him and made him quit the play. Miss Balfour wants me to replace him. That's amazing. Yeah, but people don't usually put being in charge and Darby in the same sentence. That's old Darby talking. If anyone can run that crew, it's you. Definitely, we've seen you take charge and you're great. And you know that play like the back of your hand. You're right, I can do this. Done. You're looking at Murder Masquerade's new head of crew. Let's celebrate. Smoothies on me. Oh, I can't. I have to study. I'm really not prepared. Do you say that before every big test and small quiz? You overstudy until all the information in your brain gets mixed up because you worry so much. You're right. I've been studying all week. I'm prepared. Good. Because I just found something. Preserve a memory, fruit preserves. Make room in your mind to remember for all time. This could protect us from forgetting magic. All right, we need to make simple syrup, mash the blueberries, and strip the Livonian thyme. Do you want to take the lead, Darby? Are you trying to get me prepared to run the crew? Yeah. Thank you. In that case, Kelly, you make the syrup, Hannah, handle the thyme, and I'll mash the berries. Let's do this. You know, Kelly, there was a time that you didn't trust us to do anything. Now you're letting other people take the lead. Come on, I wasn't that bad. Oh, really? Remember when you wouldn't even let us make pasta until we told you the meaning of al dente? Ooh, bad example. I still don't know the meaning. <laughs> really needs peanut butter. Uh, think of Earls of Wembley. It's sophisticated to eat jam on toast. Before we eat, we need to name the thing we want to remember. Right, the lyrics to every Broadway musical. I'm kidding. Kind of. Magic. Ida has no memory of magic whatsoever. She was so nice to me. I didn't like it. She doesn't remember how many people she hurt. Well, this box can't be a coincidence. It must have something to do with the in-betweeners. I need to speak to Laura, the woman who sold this. I found her address. She might be the third protector. We should tell the girls. Not yet. I don't want to alarm Kelly till we know more. Since the summer of Chuck, it's been so nice seeing her back to normal. And now that we are all experts on the French and American revolutions, I want you to pair up and create a presentation examining their differences and similarities. 
Hey, Charlotte, do you want to be partners? Um, no. Hang on, why aren't you partnering with Darby? Darby O'Brien? Why would I partner with her? Because she's your best friend? I don't know what you're talking about. Darby is not my friend. I don't believe it. You guys had a fight. Why would we have a fight? I barely even know her. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want to partner with me to make Darby jealous. I like it. We should get started soon. Want to meet at the library after school? No, let's meet at Mama P's at four. Let me guess, Darby will be there and you want her to see us working together? What is with you and Darby? It's nice to see a friendly face. <sighs> Miss Overs, you startled me. It's okay, I have that effect on people. What's wrong, Hannah? I'm worried about my biology test. I've been studying, but I still don't feel prepared. I'm sure that's not true. Try not to think about it. Tell me about your weekend. You girls do anything fun? What girls? Kelly and Darby. From Rockbury? Why would I have seen them? Because you three are inseparable. What? I barely know them. Hannah and Kelly? I don't really know them. Um, you're best friends. You do everything together. I'm pretty sure I know who my friends are. Okay, let me ask you this. What about the magic? Jake, you're the only one I told about that. What about when you three traveled back in time to Halloween? And when you found Chuck's invisible trailer? <laughs> what are you talking about? I did all that by myself. But what about the time you three used a spell to help fix my business? With the chicken and fix hits? I did that on my own. But... It's like you don't remember how anything happened. Are you under some kind of spell? No, but I think you are. What was the last thing you cooked? Preserve a memory fruit preserves. So I'd remember magic. Then you cooked it alone. Of course I cooked it alone. I didn't think jam would be good without peanut butter, but then I remembered they'd do it on Earl's Wembley. Right, the show you watch with Kelly and Hannah. No, the show I watch alone. And sometimes with my dad, but he always falls asleep. <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for Laura. I'm Laura, can I help you? I work at the antique store on Main Street, and I came across an old box you sold us a while back. I've sold a lot of things over the years. I don't remember it. It's a wooden box with an ornate carving of a tree. Oh, yes. It's been a long time. I was a housekeeper, and when the family I worked for moved, they asked me to get rid of some of their old stuff. Could you tell me more about this family? Sure. Come on in. Hey, Sawyer, when you're done, those flats over there need to be painted. Uh-huh, I'm on it. Cool. Slate gray, paint's in the back. Gray? What do you think about red? Uh, red? Gray is boring. We need some color. Um, you think? Definitely. Okay, you're probably right. I thought you guys were gonna hang the curtains. But no big, just get to it when you're done. Look what I found, Darby. I could put a light in its mouth. It'll look like it's breathing fire. It's not exactly the right period. Oh, I thought the stage was a place for creativity. You're right. Go for it. Hey. Hey. I don't see Darby anywhere. I guess your plan to make her jealous failed. I decided to get started. This is the entire presentation. I had some free time, so I took a stab at it. But it's a group project. It doesn't matter who does what, as long as it's good. Yeah, actually it does. Especially since I'm the smart one. No wonder Darby doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. Okay, what is your obsession with Darby? I didn't know where else to go now that Mama P doesn't remember magic. I can't believe I'm actually in your house. 
When I was a kid, I used to walk on the other side of the street because I was so scared of the way that crow stared Stop at me. Stop talking. It's just that the girls don't remember their friends and people are getting cursed to forget magic and... Right. Stop talking. It's okay to be worried. I'm worried too. Sorry, uh, how much longer is this going to take? The book is infinite. Is there an index? There aren't even page numbers. Ah, here it is. The last recipe they said they cooked. Preserve a memory fruit preserves. Make room in your mind to remember for all time. I'm not really a riddle person. To ensure they remember magic. They had to forget something. So they chose their friendship? Oh, well, not on purpose. This book can be tricky. Ah, there's another part of the riddle. You can barely see it. That is tricky. To remember what you can no longer recall, go back to the beginning, the start of it all. Build it up brick by brick. Don't Miss a piece, that's the trick. I think we need to reconstruct the exact moment the girls became friends so they can become friends again. Because that won't be hard at all. The girls had a fight? It's bad. They're not talking to each other. Oh, poor Kelly. I was thinking, it would be nice to remind them of when they became friends. Like the actual moment. Really? Yeah. You were there, weren't you? Yes, but shouldn't we just encourage them to talk it out? No. Oh, I know them. They're sentimental. Reminding them of how they met and became friends would make them forget their fight. <laughs> okay. Kelly had just won the spelling bee. Honey, I'm just so proud of you. Thanks. She spelled obsequious. I mean, I barely know what that means. I like to spell. Oh, I think that's our food. I'll go get it. People were so impressed. Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you. And that's when I noticed Darby walking backwards. She was <laughs> moonwalking or something. She bumped right into Kelly. Oh, oh no. You got waffle fries? Nice. And then Hannah came out of nowhere. And before I knew it, the three of them were just laughing and going on like they'd been friends forever. That's it? How did Hannah get there? I think I was distracted by that girl who was laughing at them. What girl? Some blonde girl who went to their school. She was mean. Haley, what a nice surprise. Hi, Miss Silvers. I heard you're teaching here now. I'm glad I ran into you. I'm worried about your sister. She had a fight with Kelly and Darby. Bummer. Bummer indeed. I thought it might be nice to remind them of how they became friends. That's strange. I'm strange. Okay. Well, um, I remember the day they met because Hannah was being extra needy. Like, more than usual. <laughs> The last thing I wanted to do was hang out with Hannah. I was helping Hannah with her math homework, which was super frustrating. How hard are fractions? I don't get it. How is two fourths the same as one half? Ugh, you're dehydrating me with your anxiety. Get me a glass of water. Then Hannah runs back, grabs her book bag, and fishes out the extra t-shirt she always carries. You're gonna change your clothes right now? It's not for me. Here's an extra shirt. But how did Darby fall? I wasn't paying attention, but maybe you should talk to that other kid? What other kid? The one from the basketball team. What did she look like? Blonde, I think. She was cool. <laughs> Way cooler than Kelly and Darby. <laughs> That's different than what Miss Quinn told me. Uh, she said it was Kelly's tray that fell. But Haley said it was Darby. We need to find someone else who was there to make sense of this. I think I have an idea. 
Hi. Of course I remember. It was one of those days. It started out well enough, except for my ankle, which I'd sprained the day before. Ida, the girls. They were there. I was delivering Kelly and Terry's order. That's when Hannah ruined everything. Hannah? This other girl, was she blonde by any chance? Yes, I think she was. She was also rude, didn't even help clean up. Thanks, Ida. Of course. I always enjoy talking with you, Gina. You should come in more often. Didn't the riddle say don't miss a piece? How can we reconstruct the exact moment they met if every version is different? Believe it or not, I don't know everything. Fine, we can get some food to go, then it's back to work. You ought to paint the set the wrong color. If we're gonna do it again, we need a break. But, but you wanted to paint it red. I didn't know the other walls were gray. Why didn't you say something? Let me guess, you got an A minus and you think your life is over. B minus, actually. Uh, I was so nervous that all the information got jumbled up in my head and I forgot the difference between a genotype and a phenotype. I'm gonna need a raspberry smoothie to alleviate the pain of failure. Look, half the grade is presenting it. Why don't you do that part? I am not reading this. I wouldn't say that. Or that. Or that. You're really getting an A. You know, one thing all three stories have in common is the blonde girl. The one who's kind of me. And plays on the basketball team. But Haley said she was cool. You want to trust Haley's definition of cool? True. Fine, then I'll just read it. Good, and you can take my name off of it, too. I'll tell Mr. Idell what you did. Feel free to tell him what you want. I took the initiative. No, you did the entire assignment. You don't get the idea of teamwork, do you? It was the same thing when you played basketball. You were a ball hog. Uh, hey, Kel, I know it's not your shift, but the espresso machine is busted again, and you're the only one who can fix it. I'll be right back. Don't change anything. Can I help you? Have you noticed that Kelly Darby and Hannah aren't talking? Yeah, and it's no surprise. I totally called it. About that. Do you remember when they met? Why do you want to know? We're making them a friendship book. Really? That's lame. Yep, she's the one. Can you tell us about that day? Sure, whatever. I mean, who walks backwards? And who gets excited about cleaning spills? And who carries an extra t-shirt? I said that friendship wouldn't last. I was so right. All fixed. The steam nozzle is clogged again. Thanks, Kel. You're the best. Charlotte was actually helpful. Yeah, I think I know what we need to do. Darby, your food's ready. I haven't ordered anything yet. No, but you just want a free meal. It's all your favorite stuff. Thanks, Jake. It's about time something good happened today. But there's one condition. You have to take this tray over to your table while walking backwards. Huh? That's the rule. Come on, you used to do this all the time as a kid. Um, how did you know that? Look, if you don't want the food, I'm someone okay, else. Okay, okay, I'm walking. Kelly, the espresso machine is clogged again. Kelly, hurry! Oh no, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm an expert at tripping. Guess I have to go home and change. Anyone have an extra shirt? Believe it or not, I do. Here. I always carry an extra shirt in case of emergencies. You spill a lot too? Me? Never. Oh, well, I do. I may have to eat you up again one day. That milkshake looked really good too. It was half banana smoothie and half chocolate milkshake. You should try it sometime. But it makes a mess. Here, let me help. Wow. Hey, you're really fast at cleaning that. My kid brother's always spilling stuff. <laughs> Especially when I cook. <laughs> you cook? I love to bake. I love to look the batter. <laughs> We should all cook together sometime. That would be really fun. <laughs> Who did this? Sorry, Mama P. It was me. I'm such a klutz. 
No, actually, it was me. I bumped into her. It was all my fault. I distracted her. Just be more careful next time. Guys, what happened? I don't know, but can we never do that ever again? Like, ever. Yeah, that was horrible. Welcome back. The spell you cast to remember magic made you forget your friendship. I remember. I mean, I remember forgetting, if that makes sense. <laughs> What's the point of remembering magic if we forget our friendship? There's nothing more important than that. Not even the magic. Thank you both so much for fixing this. That's what friends are for. Jake and I make a good team. <laughs> so, what should we do now? Don't you have some work to do? Go on. Show him who's boss. <laughs> okay, guys, break's over. We need to get back to work now. Five more minutes. I said now. And if you need to text anyone, do it now, because I'm starting a no cell phone policy. Oh, man. And after everything the family went through, they wanted a clean slate. Such a shame. Do you keep in touch with them? No. When they moved away, I retired. Does that answer your questions? It does. Thank you for your time and for the tea. Mm. Laura, who is this? Kelly, it's me. Call me right away. I have some information that's very important. There's a box, and the book is the key to the magic. So is Charlotte still mad at you? No, we redid the assignment together, and she actually had some good ideas. Good ideas like putting a gargoyle head in a 1920s mystery play? Please tell me you told him no. Oh, I did. I also made Sawyer repaint the set gray. I kind of like being in charge. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. It's just one small quiz. It's just that I knew the answers. Shows what nerves can do. Well, next time, call me before your test and I'll tell you a joke. Deal. Well, that spell went really wrong. So much for protecting us from forgetting magic. Maybe Jake was right. Maybe they're not gonna come after us. I mean, we haven't been spelled yet. Girls? Hi. 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 Your mom said you were out here. Oh, what a beautiful clubhouse. I guess Chuck was good for something. Who's Chuck? Huh. I wish I could forget him too. <laughs> no, seriously, who's Chuck? Chuck, the kid from the 1860s who ruined our summer. Oh girls. I wish I had your imagination. 